welcome back to the channel. This is Making It Happen with Mary, and I am Mary. Before we get started in today's video, y'all, if you are not already subscribed, please hit that button below because I want you to be part of my Merry Makers community. All right, you guys, in today's video, what I have for you are my top gourmand scents for 2022. All right? Oh, yes, and gourmand is that yummy, delicious, foodie type of a scent. So buckle up, baby, because I got 10 of them that are my absolute faves, all right? 10. First one, Honeysuckle Peach Tea from last year Bath and Body Works, which um, they do have a Honeysuckle Spritz that they came out with in the spring, which will be up at SAS. Oh, yes, oh, yes. But y'all need some of this if you haven't checked it out. Scent notes are Honeysuckle Blooms, Juicy Peaches, and Sweet Tea. You guys, if you're a true foodie and you like food gourmand scents, it literally smells like peach tea, <laughs> like peach tea. I normally hate peaches. I don't like the scent of peaches. Like Bath and Body, Bath and Body Works, in my opinion, has not really done a lot of peach scents that are good, in my opinion. But this one, it is so freaking delicious. It's like sitting on a porch somewhere in a rocking chair, drinking peach tea, the scent of floral honeysuckle blooms in the air and yelling at some kids to get off my grass. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, it's just so freaking good. Yeah, I highly recommend this one. Honeysuckle peach tea. And this year they did make that honeysuckle peach spritz, I think. But I know that's going to be up for SAS because it was a spring scent. So it probably will be 75% off right off rip. So you want to get some of that, okay? Next up I have, I did a review about this and I absolutely love it. Sol Janeiro's number 71, which is caramelized vanilla and macadamia nut. And you guys, oh my God. Like, this is Christmas cookies on steroids. It is so freaking delicious yumminess. I want to eat it every time I smell it. Scent notes are caramelized vanilla, sea salt, toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, tonka bean, and coconut blossom. You guys, oh, I can never resist. I can't. I can't. It's just so freaking good. There is just nothing like this. Like, I love Christmas cookies from Bath and Body Works, but that doesn't even come close to this. I swear to God. I swear to God. Just yummy, yummy chocolate cookies, vanilla caramel deliciousness. I get, I love this. I absolutely love it. That's Sol Janeiro, number 71, caramelized vanilla and macadamia. Definitely need you some of that. Next up, I have Sud Pacifique. Vanilla banana, okay? Vanilla banana. And the scent notes on this, because it is a parfum, it is, scent notes are banana, whipped cream, orange, banana leaf, clover, vanilla, and white rum. And you guys, I, if, I never have smelled a more truer banana perfume than this. It literally smells like a banana daiquiri. Like the banana and the whipped cream. And I don't really get any orange. But vanilla and a little bit of clover. I don't really get white rum either. But it's so freaking good. The banana and the whipped cream stand out to me the most with that vanilla. And I absolutely love this for the summertime. It is super gourmand. Super delicious. And that is Sud Pacific. Vanilla banana. Love it. Next up, we have there's two different kinds, and there's two, there's there's one that's a more expensive one, which is Montal's chocolate greedy. And then for us folks who are in the poorer lane, um, we have Al Rehab's Coco Musk. And I'm telling you, or I'm sorry, Choco Musk. This smells exactly like this. I'm telling you, I'm telling you it does. Yes, absolutely. But the notes for Al Rehab Choco Musk are vanilla, milk chocolate, white musk, cinnamon, 
spicy notes, sandalwood, amber, myrrh, and rose. And you guys, this is just so freaking good. Like chocolate, yummy deliciousness. You get that chocolate, that deep chocolate and the vanilla and this little bit of cinnamon to it. Oh, but I tell you what, you could probably pair this with any other gourmand scent and instantly turn it into a, like a chocolate cherry, chocolate banana, chocolate orange, chocolate coconut, smelling like an almond joy, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, but it is so good. It is so good. And that's Al Rehab's Choco Musk. Definitely want to check that out. Or... If you want to try the original, like I said, Montal's Chocolate Greedy is good. I just have a hard time spending a huge amount on some perfumes lately. And Montal's are one of them. But I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Next, we have Philosophies. We have Philosophies Fresh Cream. You guys, I absolutely love this. I swear to God. I'm almost out of the lotion, the body spray, and I still have some of the perfume left because I kind of go easy on that one. But this stuff is the bomb diggity dog. It is a bomb diggity dog. And it is scent notes of whipped cream, milk, sweet notes, powdery notes, and floral notes. And can I just say, first of all, I absolutely love the consistency of philosophy lotions. This, now I have it in the shower gel too, but the shower gel doesn't smell anything like the rest of these products. Nothing. This is whipped cream, milky, almost has like a slight fresh bread smell about it. I don't know why I get that, but I do. Like, this is just freaking amazing. It is like the whipped cream I get the most. It is just so good. It is so good. Oh, yes, it is so good. It just has that sweetness, that tiny bit of sweetness with a little tiny bit of powdery. I don't get a lot of powdery, but the whipped cream and that milk. And like I said, for whatever reason, I smell like a slight bread note, like fresh baked bread, but it's delicious, like absolutely delicious. Like you've been in the kitchen all day making things that have something with whipped cream and bread. Like maybe even an angel food cake kind of like, but this is amazing. Philosophies Fresh Cream. Highly recommend, highly recommend it. Next up, we have another parfum. And that is Ellie Saab's Girl of Now Shine. Oh, I love these bottles. I love them. They're so beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. I have the original Ellie Saab Girl of Now and Girl of Now Forever. And I think my favorite is Girl of Now Shine. Scent notes on this one are pineapple, pistachio, pear, mandarin orange, bitter almond, orange blossom, ylang ylang, jasmine, vanilla, patchouli, and iris. And you guys, this one is just absolutely beautiful. It, you immediately get to me pineapple and pistachio. And then the almond comes through with the teeniest bit of jasmine. It's not a floral scent to me. To me, the orange blossom is shines right through in this one. So it's basically pineapple, pistachio, almond, orange blossom, and vanilla. I don't get any patchouli in this whatsoever. Oh, it's so delicious, though, and so gourmand. Yumminess, yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, yeah. I get a tiny bit of pear in this, but I'm not really getting any orange or ylang ylang. But the pineapple and pistachio and that almond and the orange blossom are the stars of this perfume. I am convinced anything with orange blossom in it is absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And that is now Ellie Now. Ellie, and that is Ellie Saab Girl of Now Shine. Absolutely beautiful bottle. I love it. Absolutely love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Next up, 
All right, you guys, I have four left, four of my all-time favorite summertime gourmand scents. And I swear to God, this next one, a lot of people would say it's not really a gourmand, but to me, I swear to God it is. And I, I think once I tell you what I smell when I smell this and you smell it, you're going to smell what I'm smelling. And that is Bath & Body Works Key West Coconut Water and Melon. Why they call this coconut water and melon, I do not know. Because you know what I get from it? Every single time I spray this I and I smell it, I swear to God, this is all I get. Like walking into a cider house in the fall, the way donuts smell when they're cooking, when they're baking. That's what this smells like. It smells like a donuts, like cinnamon donuts, like cinnamon donuts in a cider house, yummy deliciousness. Now, I know some people would say that's fall. However, I am not uh, objected or I am not, I do not object to smelling like a cinnamon donut all year round, okay? Now, I do know that Bath & Body Works is bringing out that cinnamon sugar donut for summer SAS, which I will be getting my hands on and doing a review. But this, for whatever reason, screams gourmand to me. I am so sorry about that. Uh, I had to get the front door. There are kids banging on my front door. Can Anthony come out and play? Yeah, it's summertime. You can tell in my neighborhood it is summertime. But I am mad at it. Those three little boys are cute as hell. And uh, yes, Anthony can play anytime. But anyway, where was I? Key West, scent notes are coconut water, salt water waves, and fresh melon. I swear to God, I don't get any of that. It's crazy how everybody's nose is different. And I'm sure there are people out there who are going to tell me, oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't smell like that. And hey, baby, that's fine. Because everyone's nose is different. We all smell something different. But to me, this smells like a donut. It reminds me of going into a a, a bakery or a donut shop in the fall. Oh, it's so good. I absolutely love this. So yes, Key West Coconut Water Melon, aka Donut in the Fall. Hey, it is what it is. But yeah, I highly recommend. I highly recommend. They don't have this one anymore. You may see it at SAS. You never know because with SAS, they're always pulling surprises. If not, I'm sure you can find this on Mercari if you're that interested. So yes. All right, next up, we have Aquilina's Pink Sugar. Oh, it's a tried and true, baby. Oh, yes, oh, yes. This one has notes of raspberry, orange, fig leaf, bergamot, cotton candy, licorice, red berry, strawberry, lily of the valley, caramel, vanilla, musk, tonka bean, and sandalwood. Now, I don't know what they mean with all these scents. However, however, what I will say with this, this is like straight up cotton candy. Cotton candy with a little bit of raspberry and that caramel and vanilla, like pure sugary cotton candy goodness, but not like little kid cotton candy. This is different. Or like young teenage girl kind of cotton candy, like like that, how that will smell. No, this smells like grown-ass sexy woman cotton candy dipped in caramel and vanilla and yumminess. All of it. I absolutely love this one. I heard some people say it smells like a burnt, like burnt cotton candy, which I don't know what burnt cotton candy smells like. But pink sugar? Oh, yes. You want to be smelling like a snack? A sweet snack, and I'm going to tell you something, every single male I know who has smelled this loves it. Not one has told me that they don't like it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You heard it here first. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Aquilina's Pink Sugar, you got to get you some of that. Next up, I have two left, you guys, too. This one just came out, well, it originally was out a few years ago, and then they finally brought it back, and that's Bath & Body Works Beach Nights. Oh, yes, baby. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Beach Nights is banging. Like, banging. Scent notes are toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. And y'all, <laughs> you want to smell like some toasted marshmallow goodness? Baby, get your hands on this. You don't want to miss out. This was a huge seller for them. <sighs> it's like... Toasted marshmallow, sitting by the ocean, 
or by a lake maybe even. The caramel, I smell caramel in there. It is just toasted, roasted, vanilla, marshmallow goodness. Like you will smell like a snack up with this stuff. I'm telling you. And the packaging this year is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look how beautiful that packaging is. Yeah, you need some beach nights, okay? Mm -hmm. And the very last top gourmand scent that I would recommend for summer is none other than Victoria's Secret Teas Creme Cloud. I love this stuff, love this. Now, I don't have these in any order of one to 10, but I will say I absolutely love this. Love it, love it, love it. Scent notes are meringue, vanilla, sandalwood flower if you guys noticed if you've been watching me anything with like sandalwood sandalwood flower i absolutely love it musk and amber and i'm gonna tell you all this is so freaking good like it is good good okay it is so good you just immediately get like this vanilla meringue type of a tent, but it's a type of a tent, type of a scent, this vanilla meringue type of scent, but it's grown ass woman sexy, not juvenile vanilla meringue. It is grown woman. And I do have the actual parfum because body sprays never last as long as it would if it was like the perfume with it. So I always like to layer scents like with the lotion and then the body spray and then the perfume. Oh my God, it's just so good. It's got that vanilla meringue, but then you get that little bit of like that sandalwood flower and the musk. I don't really get amber, but it's so good. Like grown woman delicious sexiness in a bottle. I love, love, Love Victoria's Secrets Tease Creme Cloud, which I know they still have this one, so you can get your hands on it. Yo, that is all I have for today, you guys. I am so glad I could do my top scents, my top gourmand scents for summer 2022. If you like this video, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, hit that bell because, honey, you want to know when I upload. Oh, you're not going to want to miss the good stuff I got coming. Not with SAS around the corner and all this other good stuff I got lined up. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I also have a couple more Sheen hauls coming at you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right, you guys. That is all I have for today. I'm so glad you could join me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.